Hello, my name is Emily Koch from SEIUS and welcome to our LEAP training video series. This video explores developing scenarios in LEAP and understanding scenario inheritance. Let's begin. At the heart of LEAP is the concept of scenario analysis. Scenarios are self-consistent storylines of how a future energy system might evolve over time. How the story unfolds is dependent on particular socio-economic settings and policy conditions. Using LEAP, scenarios can be built and compared to assess energy requirements, social costs, social benefits, and environmental impacts. You can use scenarios to ask an unlimited number of what-if questions, such as what if more efficient appliances are introduced? What if indigenous reserves of oil and gas are discovered? What if renewable energy technologies are deployed? And more. If you would like to follow along with the tutorial, open up the Fredonia dataset built into LEAP. To ensure we are working from the same data set, go to Area, Revert to Version, Demand Side Management Scenario. If you are previously working on the Fredonia model and would like to save your work, click No and first save the area you were previously working on. Otherwise, click Yes to restore this version and then click on OK. We are going to start by creating a new scenario. From the Analysis view, select the Scenarios button. This opens up the Manage Scenarios window, which is where scenarios are created, deleted, and organized. In the Scenario box, you'll see Current Accounts, as well as two scenarios that have already been defined, the reference scenario and the demand side management scenario. Scenarios are listed in a hierarchical tree showing the main scenario inheritance structure. An important concept in using scenarios is the idea of scenario inheritance, which we will delve into shortly. But first, go ahead and add a third scenario under the reference scenario by clicking the plus button. We will name this Efficient Lighting to look at how increasing efficient lighting will decrease energy demand. You can add an abbreviation of up to eight characters to represent the scenario. For example, light. Go ahead and delete the demand side management scenario as we will no longer require this for this exercise. To do this, press the subtract button at the top. Below, there are three tabs. You can edit the scenario inheritance hierarchy, input notes or documentation associated with each scenario, and view and edit the colors associated with the scenario. Go ahead and write a quick note about what our new scenario is about. Now, click on Close and return to Analysis View. When you click on the Scenario Selection box at the top, you can choose an alternate scenario to view its data. The Scenario Selection box shows you the basic inheritance of each scenario. Data and Leap are mostly entered as expressions. Expressions are entered in Analysis View for a given variable at a given branch in the Leap tree. Understanding the way that expression inheritance works in LEAP is fundamental to understanding how scenarios can help you. Let's take a moment to discuss this concept in more detail. To minimize data entry, scenarios are organized in a hierarchy so that when you create a new scenario, it inherits expressions or data from the parent scenario. In this case, the parent scenario to efficient lighting is the reference scenario. Since we have not modified any of the data for the efficient lighting scenario, 
The reference and efficient lighting scenario are currently identical. But where does the reference scenario inherited data from? Based on the hierarchy, the data comes from current accounts. All scenarios ultimately inherit expressions from current accounts. Current accounts data is the data for the base year of your study. Unless you modify the expression, its value will be constant in the future and based on the current account's value. Different expressions can be entered for different scenarios. Click on Demand, Households, Urban, Electrified, Lighting, and finally Existing Lighting. Go ahead and add a new branch for Efficient Lighting. Assume that efficient lighting is not used in the reference scenario. Leave the share of efficient lighting in the current accounts as zero. Remember that this value is inherited by the reference scenario. Now click on the energy intensity tab and change it to 150 kilowatt hours. Now let's switch to the efficient lighting scenario. Here, Change the share from 0 to, say, 25% in 2040. You can do this by using the interp function. To fully define the scenario, you only need to type in expressions to reflect the branches and variables affected by the efficient lighting program. The inherited expressions for all other branches stay the same. This approach makes it very easy to edit and organize scenarios since they can be created with a minimum level of data entry and common assumptions in families of scenarios can be edited by just editing the parent scenario. When editing scenario data, you may have noticed that the expression fields are color coded. Blue text indicates an expression has been entered explicitly in the scenario currently being edited. Leaf uses a process to determine which expressions to use in its calculations. First, Leap looks in the current active scenario, or the blue text. Next, if an expression still has not been found, Leap walks up the main scenario tree from the currently active scenario Black text indicates that a value is inherited from another scenario. If we go back to the activity level tab, we can see that many of these values are black. Some of these values are from the reference scenario. Ultimately, if no expression is found, a default expression for the variable is used to calculate the values. This is typically a zero for most variables. Silver text indicates that you're using the default expression for the variable, as shown for several variables under the Resources tab. By right-clicking on any blue value and selecting Reset to Inherited, we'll change the value back to the inherited value. Alternatively, you can just delete the value using the Backspace button to return to the inherited value. The process described is known as expression search order. If you go back into manage scenarios, this is displayed on the bottom of the inheritance tab for the selected scenario, efficient lighting, reference, current accounts, followed by default values. This search order automatically updates any time you edit the scenario inheritance structure. So far, we've covered the basics of scenario management and inheritance, which you can use to begin constructing your own scenarios. The real power in making scenarios is being able to compare results between different sets of assumptions. We can compare the two scenarios by going to Results view, selecting Energy Demand Final Units from the Results Selection box, Ensure all scenarios is selected from the right menu. Now, you can instantly see the difference between the reference scenario and the efficient lighting scenario. 
However, say we wanted to implement a much more aggressive lighting policy. How would that impact demand? Go back into analysis view and scenarios and add a new scenario called more efficient lighting. Ensure it inherits from the reference scenario. Now click close and go back to analysis view. Select the new scenario from the scenario selection box and now change the share in the lighting to go to 75% in 2040 instead of 25% which was shown in the previous scenario. Go back to results view to compare the demand of these three scenarios. You can also view data in the table view and export all this info directly to PowerPoint or Excel to integrate into your report or presentation. For more interesting ways to display and export your data, be sure to check out our video on the basics of using the results view. As you add more scenarios, use the tree checkboxes to set whether you want results to be shown for each scenario. Unchecking a scenario will speed up calculations, but prevent you from seeing its results. Use the all or none buttons at the foot of the screen to quickly check or uncheck all the scenarios. For additional information, check out the LEAP website at www.energycommunity.org. Here you can view the LEAP user guide, tutorials, and new training videos. Use our forums to post any questions you may have, and remember to be as specific as possible and include any details causing the problems such as error messages and steps that were taken that may have resulted in an issue.